Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got the full suite of updates, the sun, tropical storms, and top science news from Mars and from beneath our feet in a truly embarrassing turn for the mainstream scientists. This is going to sting. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. And you know, on a day like yesterday, when the magnetic pole shift and Earth disaster cycle dominate the conscience, it's really nice to have a calmer day on the sun. Calm is, of course, an interesting word choice. There were not solar flares or big eruptions, but we've got stuff coming, and some arrived last night. Magnetic reversal of the solar wind magnetic field, not nearly as scary as the reversal of Earth's field, thankfully, but it did break open a crack in Earth's magnetic field last night, setting the sky ablaze at high latitudes, and that is preconditioning effects if the coronal hole stream arrives in short order. This is the biggest coronal hole of the SDO era. Its enhanced solar wind is forecast to arrive at our planet tonight last for two days. We should expect the low speed but high density pocket to precede the faster plasma stream. Noah says it arrives tonight. Aurora watch is about as scary as that one gets. Tracking a cyclone off the coast of Australia, they named this one Courtney, and luckily she is heading west. She will peter out in the southern Indian Ocean as it reaches those colder waters. Up next, we're going out to Mars and Oh boy, going to be a full day on Mars astrobiology discussion on the internet, spiraling into the cedars of the solar system, I'm sure. The longest chain organic molecules ever discovered there are changing the landscape. You see, they were already running out of ways to explain everything they're finding on Mars without the use of life. Not sure what their plan to quell the alien discussions is with this one. Next, they're going to find a snap bracelet from an Arcturian. Up next, outstanding paper describing long-term changes to the upper atmosphere. We've hit this several times in the past, but it's always nice to get confirmation. There is a tremendous and complete control of the upper atmosphere by the sun. And it's modulated by this ongoing geomagnetic change, the magnetic pole shift. And by the way, if they actually factored that in as well, they would be able to explain their little oxygen problem too. Anyone recall our oxygen and pole shift video called Super Flood about 13 years ago? They sure don't. But our top story today hits the other side of the EGU conference, the problems. There are two presentations that are going to happen where people are going to stand up and blatantly make stuff up in front of everyone. They're going to lie and say that human-driven climate change is reducing the Earth rotation speed, increasing the length of a day, taking longer for one spin at that slower speed. But as you recall from yesterday's video, and literally every major article covering this topic for the last five years, we are speeding up, not slowing down. The days grow shorter, not longer. And that's because the magnetic pole shift is vastly more influential. Same goes when you're examining climate change overall, by the way, but that's another story. Essentially, these scientists are doing all their work on math and paper, not paying any attention to reality. Folks, our documentary on the pole shift and Earth disaster cycle is just a few months away. Goldco, goldobservers.com is our sponsor and they want you to join the millions of other serious preppers out here who understand that whether it's economic safety now, barter rich later, or high chemical utility in the aftermath, there's a really good reason serious observers stack metal. Goldobservers.com. Join the rest of us. Come see us in person as well. Major events going on all summer long, including pole shift conferences every month. I have a resolute and unyielding need to shake your hand, and that begins at ObserverRanch.com. Plenty of resources, including detailed information on the pole shift and disaster cycle, are linked below the video for you in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.